the banana queen. So the iguana's gonna come into the trap and grab the bananas. You wanna come in the trap? <laughs> We're just scarfing the bananas down. Oh my god, going right inside the trap. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my god, catch him up. Bananas. Oh no, I dropped a banana. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Kelly is harvesting all the bananas, the monkey girl. Bring the bananas to me. You are the banana queen girl. Oh, no way. No, it wasn't a big one. It wasn't oh. a big one. We have lots of stuff to do. We have the house to do. Just go outside. Take little chunks and feed the banane. Yes. Feed the megala banana eater. Don't spook them. Be, go, go slow. Go slow. So we have our fish trap outside waiting with bananes in it. Kelly is coming from this side. Oh, there's Kelly. Let's see. She... Oh, what a throw and a half. What? A... Oh, look. There's a little lizard thingy. <gasps> Liz just jumped on the tree. That was an awesome throw, Kelly. It's eating it right there. It's looking for the banane. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good job. I think we're gonna try to make some type of trap for him because they keep eating everything that Kelly throws at them. Good job, Kelly. That was an amazing throw. The, um, huh? The one to the right is the one that always comes here. The one to the left is new. You didn't give them the skin? They eat the skin too. Oh, well, I just... You are supposed to give them the skin. Throw the whole thing! Don't scare away our friends. The iguana doesn't look spooked yet. She's getting a little too close. Throw it. Throw it. Good throw. What a throw and a half by Kelly right there. Turn your butt around. What a sick throw. What a sick throw. It's starting to rain? Yeah. Alright, let's go get our trap. Eat it. Eat the banana. He's smelling for sure. He's looking around, seeing if Kelly's out there to come eat him. And since she's not, get closer. Go ahead. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. That's the banana. Yay. He ate it. Yes. Done. On tape, filmed, eating the banana. They're all coming now. We need to get it. We need to set up the trap. It's the only way we're going to catch these things. Look, they're everywhere, guys. So we're going to get the trap. Oh, he's going to bite them. Yeah, get out of here. We're gonna get our trap now, guys. Let's get this show on the banana iguana eating road. It's the next day, and our prey has returned. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a trap and try to catch this thing without killing it. Using our special guest, Mr. Bananas. Oh, secret bait, come on. Check it out, baby. This is Iguana Man's like strategy. Completely Iguana Man. Shout out to my man, Iguana Man. He has a YouTube channel. Phenomenal channel, by the way. Amazing guy. So, I saw that he was using this cage, but I don't think he ever used it like a trap. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just, like, make this a trap instead of, like, a cage for the iguanas. I got the biggest dog cage I could find. The puppies can't get out of it, and neither can the iguanas, guys. If you look at the size of this and the size of, the like, the fencing... For some reason, iguanas just run full speed into the fencing, and they like think they can get through it, but they never can. This is a big cage, my goodness. So, this is what we're gonna do today, guys. We're gonna do this trap in one day, maybe two if the iguana doesn't compromise, but I feel like with our secret bait, these little bananas, fresh bananas, straight from, from our yard, guys, I'm telling you, these are some of the best bananas ever, apple bananas. So, I'm just gonna drop these right here, and a lot of people don't understand, but iguanas, the reason they love peppers and stuff to that nature is because they see the colors of the fruit. They see that it's like a, a bright color, that it's like a, it's a fruity color, like honestly. So uh, stuff like this, reds, oranges, like strawberries, stuff like that, they're going to be more prone to going to that fruit just because of the color. That makes sense because when I set out raspberries, yeah. they immediately went for them. Yeah, and then the blackberries did nothing. So, they, yeah. so, so guys, we're going to put these blue check blueberries, we're going to put these bananas right here in the center. We're going to mess them up, but a lot of times they'll go for the skin before even the meat, which is white. So we're going to leave these, we're going to spread them out, we're going to open a couple of them, and then we're going to leave this open. And what I gotta do now, before we even get over there by the deck, is I gotta take this 100 pound test. It's a 100 pound monofilament, cheap line you can buy. It's like five bucks for this whole spool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie it to one side and bring it through the other side, right? So I tied this glorified loop knot, guys. A giant lasso, pretty much. Now I gotta put it through the fencing. Check it out. 
Check it out. So, what we're going to do is leave it as open as possible to not spook the iguana. The bigger the trap, the, the easier it is to not spook the animal that you're trying to catch it in because it's like, oh, this is just wide open space. I'm walking like it's a normal day. So, check it out. Be close. I'm taking this loop, right? I'm going to put it right, right up here. I don't want to put it too low because I don't want the iguana to walk into the line and get all tangled up. If he walks over the line or if he bumps into it, it shouldn't bother him, especially since it's clear. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it a little bit high and I'm going to put the second one low. So right here, this one's going right here, nice and low. And I'm putting the whole spool through here. And now, let's take a step back, take a step, step back. I'm going to be far away, right? And I'm going to be sitting there hoping that the iguana comes in. Because when it does, I'm just going to pull, and there it goes. Won't be able to get it out. The only thing we can do now is go ahead and try it and see if it works, guys. Come on. All right, guys, that's the cool thing about this. If this trap does work, we can literally just bring it anywhere. Look at that. Easy peasy. But what we're doing right now, we're going to trap it in our own backyard. Come on. Let's see if he's still even there. The sun is out. So look, look at that. Oh, that's, that's as good as it gets. That's iguana season right there. So, oh, he's right there. He is here. Where? Oh, come I see him. Right he's about come to on, jump. Yeah, she's right there. I think it's a female. It's a big female, I think. Look at her. See over there? She still hasn't run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that whole space where she usually goes. And since she's on that side right now, I'm going to try to sneak up and not scare her. Put some bananas in there. Not running, she's still there. She's not running, guys. So I just need to set this up pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and try. She just jumped, yeah. She did. She did? Okay, She'll cool. be back. So we have nothing to worry about now. We're just trying to hurry up. I know it's really windy, but this is what, this is what I'm doing right now. Check, check it out. Plenty of room. You guys see that? Look how much room that is. Now, oh, what? Uh oh, murder. Step. Making sure that they have to come in to get the food. Bomb. That looks great. That looks like a big pile of food. That looks like a big pile of food, guys. So, now I'm going to leave it this wide. So, anything has to go around this to get inside this trap and get the food, which our iguana should come from behind us. Check it out. Look, turn around. I don't want us to spook yep. her in case she is, like, just barely down there. Yeah, I think but, she's in that tree. Yeah, I think so, too. So, what I'm going to do now is the same thing that I did last time. I'm going to go right here, put it from above on that side, and then from below on this side, I'm going to go ahead and put my spool right through here. That should be good. That should be good. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now, see, see how high that line is right there? Now, what oh. I'm going to do... Because I'm actually going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to walk this way and I'm going to hide back here around the corner. I might even wait to do it inside. I might even hide like inside. Yeah, let's, let's hide actually inside the house. I think we'll be able to do it. Let's, let's try it really quick. Oh. I just I need to pull really, really quick. It'll work. It'll work. I just need to pull as quickly as I can. It's going to work. I'm just going to leave it open. <laughs> You're going to see how it is. What's the worst thing that happens, right? I feel like the roundness makes it more inviting. Because I feel like they're not boxed in, they're not in a closed in area. And when I pull, all right, I think we're good. 100 pound test, baby. Just gonna have to pull as hard as I can, as fast as I can. Right now, I'm gonna use this spool, open it up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Looks like we have a good amount of line. All right. All right, we're gonna just go inside right now. We're gonna wait and we're gonna see what happens. Hey, 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 the iguana, the wait. iguana. Oh, there's a little lizard too. What? There's a little lizard too. Okay, I see him, I see him. But he just crept out from that bush. See him? Yeah, God, Kelly just yelled at me to get the camera. And look, <gasps> does he see us? Oh, let's sit down, let's sit down, let's sit down, let's sit down. Okay, so he's right there. He's just checking things out. Yeah, he's checking things out. I don't think he can see us past this glass, honestly. I, I think there's a fat glare. I think he's looking around, but look what is over here, baby. The bananas, baby, the bananas, and the trap is looking good. So, what we're going to do is just let him go in there and start eating. Come on. Creep over, buddy. Oh, my God, the little one. What is that? A little curly tail. Look, look, oh, she's going in there. Dude. Dude. 
Kelly, Kelly, you gotta be ready. We gotta be ready. We gotta be ready to pull the trap. We gotta be ready to pull the trap. I was seeing what time it is. Oh, yeah. It's half past trap time. Look. No cuts, guys. No cuts. No cuts. <clears throat> no cuts. Hold on. Yeah, that's the same one. That, that's probably one. the same one. There's another one that's a little skinnier. Yeah. She's the main one. That's the main one that's pooping, guys. You can see the poop right there. <laughs> and we do, honestly, like, I would pipe iguanas. I would, like, just tear them up like my boy Wild Water Farley. Tearing them up. You did a good job filming that, by the way. Okay. But, dude. This one's my friend. Yeah, this one is like has become our friend. This one has become our friend, and we don't want to destroy it. We just want to remove it. We honestly considered keeping it as a pet, but I don't know. It's like it's pooping everywhere, and it's really gross. Look, there's poop right there, literally right above it. But it's like sniffing around. It's checking out the trap. You good? All right, so we're waiting right here. This is where we're going to pull the trap string from. So we have the string right here, and as you guys can see, that string goes outside. It goes around, all the way around town. You see it? That's the string right there, really low goes around goes around goes around all the way to the door of our trap so oh my god it's sniffing oh my god come on come on baby come on let's go she's going right into it right into it come on dude this is so exciting pausing pausing like this has not been here before but I don't think she's scared. She doesn't look like scared. She doesn't look scared. Oh my god. Oh my god, going right inside the trap. Oh my god. Totally inside the trap. Kelly, Kelly, grab the camera. No, go over here. Grab the camera on the other side. She's starting to eat. She's in the trap. It's totally working. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, okay zoom out. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, guys, so I have the spool. She knows the spool one. Okay. So it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Zoom into her. She's eating. Okay, Zoom into okay, her. Okay. Look at the trap. Look at the trap. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull tight. Ready? Yep. Zoom in closer. Ready? Yep. Ready? One, yep. two. Come on. Go go go. go. <gasps> yes. Oh my god! It did oh not work. God, it's oh my god! It worked. Let's go check <laughs> on it. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It worked though. Oh my god. She's gosh. in there. <laughs> It'll hundred percent work from here, guys. And she so just walked out. right in. Like yeah, it's raining. Oh but come on, come on, come on. Okay, check it out. Check it out. Oh, look, I'm just going to actually leave this here. But look, yeah. look. Okay, cool. Oh, no, it's raining. This. I know it's raining, but look. Look at this. This comes all the way over here, all the way around. 100 pound test I kept pulling. And now look. Look, she's trying to go. Oh, she has skin. Oh, no. no. No, she was too small. She has skin. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't run. Don't, Don't run. Don't run. It's okay. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, she escaped! <laughs> oh my god! Did you not close it all the way? Dude, it worked, bro! It worked! Did I closed it all the way, she ran through the hole! No way! Yeah, she was too small! Oh. Dang oh. it! So, anyway, guys, we know it worked 100%, but we're gonna have to think of something else, a different way to make these iguanas get stuck in a trap because this is just too big. The, the hole is just too big. Check it out. The holes are about. I want to say a solid inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter across. And that iguana <laughs> somehow snuck through this freaking trap, man. <laughs> Dang it. We're going to have to think of a different trap to catch these iguanas that uh, has smaller holes or something to catch these iguanas that we can't sneak up on. Because we can't, we, we can't get that close to them. As you guys saw before, every time we come around here, the iguanas dart. So, I mean, we've, we've been gaining trust by putting food out and stuff like that, but looking like we're going to need to make a new trap, a smaller trap with smaller holes, or maybe a bigger trap with smaller holes that can catch these iguanas, guys. Ah, that's ridiculous. But our 100 pound test worked. That's awesome. The whole trap and the whole way it was supposed to work with the noose and everything, it worked perfectly. It worked perfectly, guys. Look at that. I could reset up this trap right now and it would 100% work. I can't believe she fit through the holes, man. We're going to set up another trap, I promise you. It's going to have something to do with fruit, and we're going to trap iguanas, and it's going to work because it's not going to have small holes, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. This iguana trap works 100%. Look at this thing. Wow. Oh, it'll work 100%. We're going to make a better one, though. So stay tuned and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.